U.S. Border Patrol agents at the Falfurious Texas checkpoint reportedly continue detaining young immigrant adults who benefit from DACA. Good evening, I'm Jeff Brady. I'm Sarah Lucero. The Obama-era executive order that grants them work permits should still shield them from deportation, but is the policy being abused or ignored? We first told you about the allegations on Monday, and now more people are coming forward sharing their stories with Eyewitness News border correspondent Oscar Margain. DACA recipient Lewis is walking a free man. Put us in a cell. We're just waiting there. That's not to say he feels like one. What we're trying to do right now is just go out as least possible. He asked us to conceal his identity because he fears he'll be retaliated against by Border Patrol agents if he decides to cross through the checkpoint he was detained at Tuesday in Falfurias. On Monday, nine DACA recipients in good standing were held for up to seven hours as agents reviewed their status and ran criminal background checks information they already provided the government when renewing their permits. Some even allege being threatened with deportation. Well, either you go back to where you are or you stay up where you're going because if you pass the second time we're going to deport you. They took our phones away, they took our shoelaces away. Lewis says he and two of his friends he rode with were taken to a border patrol station where they spent nearly four hours waiting in a cell to be released. You're just basically worried I say a little bit intimidated because, I mean, you're, we're already in a patrol car, you know what I mean? And, and you know, just wondering what's going to happen next. They were all eventually let go. Lewis was four years old when his mother brought him to the U.S. He's now 21 and helping to sustain his family, he says. Being able to cross the checkpoint determines whether he can continue to work at refineries in the Houston area. First detain you, take all the things away from you, and then take you to a detention center and put you at the cell. Did they ever explain why they were doing all this? No, they did not. They just told us that we were going to get processed. That was about it. That's all the explanation we got the whole time we were there. And the explanation we received from Border Patrol is that this is part of their policy and procedure. And that's why Lewis is sharing his story. So other people like, oh, like, well, like myself, you know, under the DACA, they're, they're aware of what's happening, you know. A reminder, they must continue walking a straight line. From the Texas-Mexico border, Oscar Margain, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News.